Здравствуйте, это College Russian, and I'm Janie. Uh, one of my most popular videos is just of me reading a Russian children's story extremely slowly. Uh, but it turns out, based on the commentary that I was getting, that apparently it wasn't even slow enough. So today I'm going to take a really popular poem called Telefon by the poet Tchaikovsky, and we're going to read it extremely, extremely slow, getting gradually faster. So today's video is going to be different from my previous story videos in that one, it's going to be even slower than previous videos. I'll read a few lines at a time and then read it one more time, getting a little bit faster. Secondly, I'm going to give pronunciation explanations throughout the video. Remember, in true little kid fashion, just like little kids do when they're starting to read along with a book, point with your finger. I'm telling you that extra little bit of action really helps those words get stuck in your brain a little bit more. So point with your finger along the screen as you go. Okay, so today's book is called Telefon by the author Karnyi Chukovsky. He's a very clever children's book author, similar to Dr. Seuss in English. And so there's very adorable play on words in this, which you may or may not pick up on. That's okay. Uh, what's going to be unique about this video is there's going to be pronunciation explanations. So I often get comments uh, down below my reading videos about like, why is O oh sometimes getting pronounced as ah? Uh, why does ye sometimes sound like e? Um, what in the world is palatalization? I'm going to teach you a little bit more about that as we come upon it throughout the story. And then lastly, we're going to touch briefly upon what consonant devoicing is, because there's a couple of words in this story where I pronounce them slightly different than what you might expect. Also, if you're wondering, what in the world am I saying? The English translation is going to be uh, towards the end of the video. So we're going to read it slowly all the way through. Um, and because I just want you to focus on the words themselves and how to pronounce all of the sounds. Then if you want to know what are you talking about in this story, you can, you can scrub the video and go to the end of the video for the English translation. We're going to start out crazy, crazy slow. I mean, some of you might fall asleep. It's going to be that slow. Then we're going to kind of pick up the pace and I'll repeat lines. So we'll read them through one time, super, super slow. Then add in, then read it again a little bit faster. So you're going to challenge yourself and get lots and lots of practice. Here we go. Again, ideally you're following along with your finger. I'll be following along with the mouse. Ooh, mean, ya. Zazvanil Telefon Kto Gavarit Slon So let's do that one more time. U Minya Zazvanil Telefon Kto Gavarit Slon At Kuda At Ver Bluda Sto Vam Nada Shakalada. Let's do that all one more time. At kuda, at ver bluda, što vam nada, šakalada, dlja kavo, dlja sina majevo. Notice that those G's are actually getting pronounced as a V sound. Um, and that's just left over from Old Russian. And anytime you see that on the end of a word, it's going to be actually pronounced as a, a V. And it's technically the genitive case, which you'll learn about a long time from now when you're more in deep in Russian. Okay, so as you may have noticed, some of these O's were not getting pronounced as hard O's. There's a rule for that. O only gets pronounced as O 
when it's stressed. So in the bold font, you can see the stressed syllable. Therefore, if you're looking at an O and it is not in bold font, it's going to be pronounced as an A if it's in the syllable just before the stress, or a schwa or an U uh sound everywhere else. So now that we've talked about that, let's go a little bit faster so you re can really hear it in context. Uminya zazvanil telefon. Kto gavarit? Slon. At kuda? At vier bluda? Što vam nad? Šokolada. Dla kavo? Dla sina mojevo. Okay, so now in this slide, we're going to be looking at palatalization. So palatalization is when the middle of the tongue kind of squishes up against the top of the mouth, while the tip of the tongue is also making the other sound. So for example, if you make an L, the tip of your tongue is on the back of your teeth. In addition to that, the middle of your tongue is squishing up to the top of your mouth, okay? So we know so far that we need to palatalize a consonant if it is bef before a myakiznak, for example, okay? Um, so, but what you may not know, and I've linked to a video in the description box where I really break down what are hard and soft consonants in Russian. So you also have to palatalize before, before certain soft, uh, before certain vowels that indicate softness of the previous consonant. So it all sounds really confusing. Watch the video down in the description box and I really, really break it down for you. But I'm just going to show you which of these slides are... I'm just going to show you which of these consonants are actually palatalized, meaning while you say these sounds, you also need to be squishing your tongue up to the top of your mouth. So here we go. Let's read this off super slow, and you can hear that palatalization because I'm going to be reading painfully slow. Here we go. Manoga li pri da Pudov etak piat ili šest bolše jemu nie sjest on u minja. So let's read that one more time a little bit faster. Mnoga li prislać da pudov etak pjać ili šest bolše jemu ne sjest on u minja ješo malinki. A потом позвонил крокодил и со слезами просил мой милый хороший пришли мне Kaloshi i minye i ženje i tatoši. A little faster. A potom pozvonil krokodil i sa slizami prasil moj milý chorosi Пришли мне калоши, и мне, и жене, и татоши. So our pronunciation thing here is what's called consonant devoicing. So we have devoiced consonants. Voiced consonant is if your vocal cords vibrate when you say it. For example, б, в, г, д, з, ж. If you hold on to your throat, you can feel vibration there. Now, if you whisper these same consonants, that's where you get the voiceless equivalent. 
p, f, k, t, s, sh. So the rule in Russian says that voice consonants become voiceless if they're at the end of a word. For example, in this previous slide, pudov. That's not a v. You're, it's at the end of a word and it's voiced, so it's going to become voiceless. Pudov. Um, and also if they are before a voiceless consonant. So for example, we've got two incidents of that. We've got, uh, on the next slide, we're going to have knishki. You don't pronounce this as a zh. You're going to do it as a voiceless. Knishki. And then also right here, as we see, sladki. This is going to be pronounced as a T because a K is voiceless as well. All right, here we go. Ach, tie, sto, ty, vyslal na prošlej nideli my davno uže sieli i ždijom nie daždijom sa kag da že ty snova prišlioš k našemu užinu diužinu novych i sladkých kaloš. A potom pozvanili Зайчатки, нельзя ли прислать перчатки? А потом позвонили мартышки. Пришлите, пожалуйста, книжки. And our last bit of pronunciation is that ye and ya only get pronounced as a ye or a ya if they are stressed, same like the o. Everywhere else, they become an e before the stress and kind of a ye sound after stress. So here we go. A patom pazvanil mid. Ведь да как начал, как начал реветь. Погодите, медведь, не ревите. Объясните, чего Вы хотите, но он только му да му, а к чему, почему, не пойму. Повесьте, пожалуйста, труп. А потом позвонили цапли. Пришлите, пожалуйста, капли. Мы лягушками нынче объелись. И у нас животы разболелись, а потом позвонила свинья. Пришлите ко мне соловья. 
Мы сегодня вдвоем с соловьем чудесную песню споем. Нет, нет, соловей не поет для свиней. Позови-ка ты лучше ворону. One last time. And just notice that yo is always stressed. If you see the ye with the two dots above it, it's always the stressed syllable in a word. А потом позвонила свинья. Пришлите ко мне соловья. Мы сегодня двоем с соловьем чудесную песню споем. Нет, нет, соловей не поет для свиней. Позови-ка ты лучше ворону. And that's only the first part of this poem. It's an adorable poem, but it goes on a little too long for this video. So we're going to stop there and now do the English translation. У меня зазвонил телефон. Кто говорит? Слон. Откуда? От верблюда. Что вам надо? Шоколада. Для кого? Для сына моего. Много ли прислать? Да пудов это пять или шесть. Больше ему не съесть. Он у меня еще маленький. А потом позвонил крокодил и со слезами просил. Мой милый, хороший, пришли мне калуши и мне, и жене, и татуши. Ах, те, что ты выслал на прошлой неделе, мы давно уже съели. И ждем, не дождемся, когда же ты снова пришлешь к нашему ужину дюжину новых и сладких калош. А потом позвонили зайчатки. Нельзя ли прислать перчатки? А потом позвонил мартышки. Пришлите, пожалуйста, книжки. А потом позвонил медведь. Да как начал, как начал реветь. Погодите, медведь, не рвите. Объясните, чего вы хотите. Но он только му да му, а к чему, почему, не пойму. Повесьте, пожалуйста, трубку. А потом позвонили цапли. Пришлите, пожалуйста, капли. Мы лягушками нынче объелись, И у нас животы разболелись. А потом позвонила свинья. Пришлите ко мне соловья. Мы сегодня вдвоем с соловьем Чудесную песню споем. Нет, нет. Соловей не поет для свиней. Позови-ка ты лучше ворону. So be looking on my YouTube channel for the follow-up to that. I'm thinking I'll do it in about a month from now to give you some time to really practice with that. Uh, and don't forget to do all those things that make us YouTubers so happy. You can go find me on College Russian on Instagram. I do lots of fun tidbits, and I'll be doing a fun little post to go with this about children's stories in Russian and English. And also, of course, subscribe, ring the bell, get the alerts. And then if you really liked learning this, keep going with your Russian studies. I've created a play list of all of my my lessons that I do. It's called online Russian class. And I take you through all the way verb, all through the way through adjectives, through verb conjugations, through prepositional case. So stick with it. Keep reading practice. And in the links below, there's going to be links to my other reading videos as well. Хорошо. До свидания.